Today we are making super juicy cilantro lime chicken thighs, the perfect weeknight dinner because the chicken and sides are on the table in just over 30 minutes. Cilantro, lime and garlic go together like nothing else and they make just about anything delicious. But have you ever marinated chicken thighs in it and then cooked them and made a sauce with the cilantro, lime, garlic? Oh my gosh, it's incredible. So let me show you how to make it. First, you will have to chop up some cilantro, get a handful of the herb with stems and all, and then chop it finely. You need about half a cup chopped, then set about a third of it aside and leave it on the chopping board and transfer the other two thirds into a shallow bowl. I don't recommend a deep bowl because the marinade will just sink to the bottom instead of stick to the chicken. Now add two cloves of crushed garlic to the bowl, as well as one tablespoon of avocado oil, plus sea salt and pepper to taste. Now lastly, add the juice of two juicy limes to the bowl as well, and then mix it all up with a fork until it's well combined. Once the marinade is ready, add a pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs to it, one thigh at a time, and roll the thigh around so it gets some marinade all over. Make sure all thighs are well coated in the marinade and then set it aside and leave it on the kitchen counter for 15 minutes or cover and place in the fridge for up to two hours. In the meantime, you have plenty of time to prepare your sides. I love serving this with Instant Pot coconut rice because it's easy and totally hands off. I have a full tutorial on how to make it and we'll link it in the description, but basically you add rice, salt, coconut sugar, coconut milk and water and then pressure cook for three minutes plus full natural pressure release. Once that's done, I also get started on my veggies. I just get water to a boil in a saucepan and then add French green beans to the boiling water for eight minutes. That's all. Now let's get back to the cilantro lime chicken. Once it's been marinating for 15 minutes, you can get out a large pan and preheat it over medium low heat. Then once it's super hot, add the chicken thighs one at a time to the hot pan to brown them. You might have to do this in two batches because you don't want the thighs to touch. Make sure there is enough space in between the thighs so the heat can escape. This ensures the nicest sear. Brown the thighs for about three to four minutes on one side and then flip them over and brown for another three to four minutes on the other side. Then remove the thighs from the pan and do the same with the remaining thighs. When all thighs are browned, set them aside and get the remaining marinade from the shallow bowl and add half a cup chicken broth to that. And then pour all this deliciousness into the hot pan and start scraping off the brown bits and pieces stuck to the bottom of the pan with a silicone or wooden spoon. This is the most delicious part of the recipe, so take your time and really get it all into the sauce. Once your sauce is starting to thicken, put the chicken thighs back into the pan and finish cooking them for just a few minutes. Once they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, they are perfectly cooked through and ready to serve. Add a few slices of lime to them, sprinkle the freshly chopped cilantro that we set aside early on top, and serve over coconut rice and with the green beans on the side. Don't forget to drizzle some of the sauce on top of your thighs. It's the best part. Yummy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you're gonna give it a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.